Oh man, here we go. Hello friends, it's me Lisa Schwartz and welcome back to my channel. You clicked on the video, you know we are about to talk about the insane Revolve debacle that happened. I don't even know if debacle, I, it is like a huge aggressively ignorant fail. But before I pass judgment about the situation, I feel like it's important for me to state the facts. And a big reason why I think it's important as an influencer to talk about this company specifically and the situation is because Revolve basically makes 70% of their profits directly from influencers pushing out their products. That's right, last year in 2017, 70% of their billion dollar company profit came from influencers. That's $700 million for that year simply because influencers push their products. So this company is super tied in to the internet and to my friends, your friends, our friends on Instagram that we don't know but we follow. So I think it is appropriate to examine what had happened, what has happened in the past, and what we can expect in the future. So now to the facts in case you haven't heard about them. On Wednesday, Revolve in conjunction with LPA, which is an LA-based fashion designer, and Lena Dunham, who had paired up with both of them, put out a sweatshirt for sale, and the internet went crazy. So here it is. It is a picture of a sweatshirt with a very skinny female model, and as you can see yourself, it says, being fat is not beautiful, it's an excuse. Mm. Before I give my statements, let's continue on with the facts. So this came out on Revolve on Wednesday. People were going crazy. Many of the YouTubers and social influencers you probably follow were very active on Twitter speaking out against this, horrified by not only the slogan, but by the fact that that sweatshirt and that slogan were on a very, very thin model. The whole thing was kind of like a crazy shitstorm, part of my French. Now here's the twist on the whole thing. Apparently this sweatshirt was part of a line of sweatshirts in a series to help promote anti-bullying. Yeah, you heard me right. This quote on this sweatshirt was part of a series of sweatshirts with different bullying quotes from different famous models and actresses who have heard these things over the years. Now if you look closely on the picture, there's like a line of text under the quote that is very, very small and very, very difficult to read. But we come to find out that that actually says, as said to Paloma a lesser who I'm sure I've messed that name up. But that was a quote that was directly said to a model who obviously was horrified by this and is a beautiful woman and is beautiful the, the way she is, but it was just like a bullying statement that she remembered that stuck in her head that she was willing to share with LPA, Revolve, and Lena Dunham to sort of tell the world that like bullying is not okay. Did you follow that? So basically all the sweatshirts had bullying quotes from these famous people as a way to like tell the world that like bullying's not good. And the intention was to sell those sweatshirts through Revolve and a portion of the profits would go to a nonprofit called Girls Right Now, which seems like a really cool organization as it states on the website, it is a nonprofit organization that benefits at risk young women in New York City who have a knack or an interest in writing and basically they pair them up with a celebrity or a famous writer um, and they do workshops and mentorships to harvest, create, and inspire um, these young women writers. So those are the facts. This sweatshirt came out on Wednesday. It was horrifying to the internet, out of context, it seemed like the worst thing that could have ever happened. Behind the scenes, it seems as though the intentions were good. It came from a good place, according to Lena Dunham and LPA and Revolve, but all together, mixed all together, it became a crazy, crazy, bad, bad shitstorm. So now, allow me to speak my thoughts on this. Whoever thought that that was a good idea, <laughs> there's so many good 
ideas to be had and that was a bad, bad, bad idea. There's so many reasons why this is bad. First of all, that, that quote is terrible and also the sentiment behind the quote is terrible. That's why it was a bully who said that. Like a bully came up with that thought. So why would we put it on a sweatshirt? Why? Why would we ever put that on a sweatshirt? Again, the intention was to bring awareness to bullying, but like, think this one out, right? People would buy that sweatshirt and wear it on the street, and people would read those things, and without knowing the context of that sweatshirt, they would assume that that person is just a bully. And you know what? Chances are half the people that probably bought those sweatshirts are bullies and do stand by that sentiment that is on that terrible sweatshirt. So using bullying to raise awareness about bullying is just counterproductive. Counterintuitive? It's just a terrible idea. Not to mention that tiny text underneath is so hard to see and so hard to read that it really doesn't help justify the quote. The next issue being the model wearing the sweatshirt was very thin. Now this is not thin shaming. This is not saying like, ooh, she's too thin. Like, no, it's just saying the combination of that model with that sweatshirt and slogan is just a disaster. How no one, you guys, Revolve is a big company. So is Lena Dunham and her people and so is LPA. So the fact that all three of these conglomerates, nobody there saw that and thought, hmm, this is a bad idea is insane to me. Whew. I'm getting heated. I just don't see in what world anyone thought that this was a good idea, even if in their heart of hearts they were trying to do a good thing for a great organization. Now, apparently Lena Dunham is appalled by this all happening, as well as LPA. Both of them claim that this came out before they gave their approval and that this was not their intention. In fact, Lena Dunham went on a rant on Instagram, basically like, putting her hands up saying like, I don't want to be involved with this. This was not how I intended to be. And I really am disappointed in Revolve. And I hope that Revolve like makes this right. I'll leave the link to her Instagram post below so you can read it yourself. And apparently the model whose quote that was, wanted nothing to do with it once this came out, as well as LPA. I mean, literally everyone was like, no, no, I'm not involved in this, which I don't blame them for doing, but it's hard for me to really believe. I don't know, I don't know. It seems like they really weren't involved in it because Revolve came out afterwards and put out a huge statement, which I actually wanna read for you right now, apologizing to everyone, including and specifically LPA, the model whose quote it was and to Lena Dunham. So here is a few statements that they said this morning images of a forthcoming LPA collection were prematurely released on revolve.com. They're sticking by this idea that it was like came out before everyone had approved it, which is bizarre to me. Again, there's so many steps that companies have to take to like put things out that like that seems a little iffy to me. Um, the capsule collection originally conceived by LPA alongside Lena Dunham and Paloma Alesser, who was the uh, model who gave that quote, and other inspiring women was set to debut tomorrow as a direct commentary on the modern day normality of cyberbullying and the shared desire to create a community for those affected by the epidemic. They go on to say that the profits were gonna go to girls right now. And here's like the big thing that they kind of said about this picture. The prematurely released image featured on revolve.com was not only included without context of the overall campaign, but regrettably, featured one of the pieces on a model whose size was not reflected of the piece's commentary on body positivity. We at Revolve sincerely apologize to all those involved, particularly Lena, Paloma, and other collaborators. And what they ended up doing, obviously, was pulling the collection down. They are no longer going to release the collection, and they did, in turn, end up writing a $20,000 check to Girls Right Now, which is, to me, the only good thing that came out of this. Besides the conversation, I guess, but like such a mess, but at least the nonprofit um, profited. So my friends, what do you think of all of this craziness? Do you personally shop on Revolve? And if you do, is this gonna stop you from shopping on it? Or are you just gonna turn your cheek and continue forward? Do you think their intentions were good, but their execution was poor? 
Or do you think we should unfollow them and just move on? There's so many other wonderful companies out there to buy from. I hope that you guys enjoyed this conversation. I know that I found it pretty fascinating and I feel like I'd love to talk about more kind of these sort of things that are important to us. Cause you and I, we're this community. This is our community. And these people really effed it up. I wanna keep this a beautiful, wonderful, inclusive, and loving space, and I hope that you do too. I love you guys so much. I think you are beautiful. The way that you are, literally everyone out there is just a gem of a human. Okay, see you next time, bye!